Hello ladies and germs, Elton McFall here. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much known also as Retro Old School. Sometimes I think about that name, I'm like, well, I wanted to use the word retro, so that was, that was, uh, that's all that fit at that time when I started this channel in, uh, at the end of 2008. Good looking smut stang over there, love to ride in that Ford Mustang convertible, beautiful, fantastic blue. And not the Arctic scrap in the background, fuck that shit. Yeah. I am on one of my favorite streets. I've always loved walking up and down this street. It's got a bit of a San Francisco feel to it because it's on a steep incline, a lot of places. Yep, Boulevard Côte des Neiges, Côte des Neiges Boulevard. And spurred a moment, I just got this idea to do a walk here on this uh, street called Edouard Montpetit with the sign a little bent up. And this street also leads up to the uh, metro station of the same name. So I'm thinking maybe if I get fed up walking, I'll just hop on the metro and you know, maybe even film a walk there, so, yeah. Salon du Livre, which basically translates to a book exposition. That's pretty neat, pretty neat illustration, actually. Yeah. Fantastic summer day today. Perfect, perfect ideal summer day. I mean, it's breezy. It's not too humid. It's about 26, I'd say, degrees Celsius. Just lovely fantastic i was out enjoying a coffee at mickey d's to rest where actually that used to be a nichols restaurant remember those commercials they used to have nichols johnny nichols hey look at that chrome yeah the restaurants that were started by celine Dion, or as english would say celine Dion, which of course i'm not going to say really because i'm francophone those of you might find it hard to believe i am a francophone indeed a quebecois and some people wonder about my accent they're in they're intrigued by it which is great Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to show a car that I saw over there, which was really weird. Well, I'm going to show it from here because it's, I think it's a, uh, some sort of a Toyota Land Cruiser. Look how tall this thing is. It looks like a toy. Am I right? Uh, uh, no, it's a Toyota, well, I don't know what the hell it is. Anyway, whatever it is, it wasn't sold here. And that's why I'm showing it. So we'll see if we can see anything else uh, on this street here as well. That's a good looking Accord, eh? Very nice, dual exhaust. What's that plate from? Michigan? <sighs> Those lucky Americans, they always got beautiful license plates. What do we got? We got the same shit we've had for 40 years. White with blue letters. Same thing, they, you're in, you're out. Nothing simple, that's Quebec for you. Oh, of course, if you buy a fucking electric car, they put your letters, you get a letter that's, you get a plate that's white with the letters that are green. Whatever, you know what I mean? Like, give me a break. Now, apart from a lot of uh, old vintage apartment buildings around here, there's a lot of students around here because up the road, there's Université de Montréal, which is a French university. Now we're at Gatineau, Gatineau Street. That one goes out to one of my subscribers. Jeanette, that's for you, my dear. Jeanette Herchebees. And uh, there's, uh, you see that beautiful building over there with the tower? That's Fire Station 27, Caserne de Pompier. Be great to get them coming out right now. The lighting is perfect. Lower sun, battery on the camera is dying, but that's okay, I got another one. Then I'm gonna, later on, I'm gonna get fed up and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make some spaghetti because the spaghetti is delicious and healthy. And it reminds me of a song I'm going to sing right now because I'm a bit of a high from walking up Mont Mont Royal Street. I done the pasta twice just because she is so nice. Angelina, here with the Mustang is fitting. Angelina, the waitress at the pizzeria. I super minestrone just to be with her alone. Angelina, Angelina, the waitress at the pizzeria. Boy, if I had a dime for every fucking time I sang that song. Tibonio Benny. And I, I found out about that song because of the movie. It was used in the movie Casino, 1995, you know? Great, great song. Louis Prima, 1950s. You know what I mean? Oh, if I had a, if I had a fucking time machine, man. I'd go back to the time when all these buildings were built, man. 1950s, 60s. Forgot about this fucking stupid-ass 2019 we live in. Yes, I am aware that I make my living from because of a computer and the internet. I know, I know. Still. Still. Notice that all these vintage apartment buildings all have that. They all, a lot of them have that similar roof, eh? The canted roof like that. They don't make stuff like that anymore. I love that shit. I love that. 
remember I filmed in a vintage elevator in one of these ones, but I don't like really doing that anymore. It's like, the, first of all, 99% of the times the doors are locked. Okay, I mean, it, it, it's kind of sketch, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I'm just not feeling it. What am I supposed to, uh, like, follow somebody into the fucking place? I did that a couple of times. What, to film an elevator? Ah, uh, fuck it. You know, everything is about timing. And I'm just, uh, I'm not that, that uh, desperate to uh, go record these things. Unless, of course, it was something really rare, like, you know, a vintage elevator with a, the gate. You know, the gate you slide open and close while some of them actually were made automatic but still you just don't fucking see that shit so yeah 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 i'm gonna let this person come by behind me there because i don't like people walking behind me there too much so i think i'm at victoria here i think let's see we are at a very busy street where's the goddamn cross street for fuck's sake it's hidden. It's hidden. It's hiding. Oh, there it is. There we go. Uh, no, excuse me. Pardon my French. We are at uh, Dessel. Dessel and, of course, Edouard Montpetit. Oui, oui, oui. Là. Here in the Côte des Neiges borough. Là. And actually, I have not been around this area too many times, quite frankly. And look, here comes the scrap. Right on cue. Which, of course, reminds me of another hit song. I don't remember who does this song, but it goes like this. You better get used to it, baby. Hey, that reminds me. I took a bus before, and the bus driver was a separatist. Yeah, yeah, he said some shit about, like, Bon Saint-Jean and all this to some people. Then he told his family he should speak in French and all this. Oh, come on, Lou. Oh, la, 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 la. La, 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 la. Something's changed. Something stay the same, you know? What are you going to do? Que voulez-vous? Que voulez-vous? Yeah, there's your 51 stop. And this stop is a direction towards Snowden Metro Station and as well heading south, uh, south and especially westbound towards the Notre Dame de Grasse area, NDG. Look at that right there. Look at that tree branch. That looks like it was an ice storm victim, probably. Like so many trees. There's a 119. I think I've only ever taken that bus like twice. Those beautiful doors over there. Yeah. You know, a lot of times I walk by these old buildings, I always love their little quirks, you know, the little design details of their time. You know, like this one, for example, the, you know, the, those, the types of, well, they're not bricks, they're like rocks that were all, you know, shaved down and the roof and the anodized gold and all that. And I would put like a, you know, put like right there, 57 Plymouth, where I could put like a Montreal bus. There's so many things I could do. But the next project I'm getting myself psyched up to do is uh, to do a, uh, that uh, model of a Mac AC Bulldog uh, tanker, like a city Montreal tanker, so getting psyched up for that there. The only thing I fucking hate about it, again, is all the spray paint. I have to like seal up the office and cover a lot of things up. It's just, it's fucking messy, you know, and it's also when you spray paint compared to painting, uh, you could fuck a lot of things up too easily. Look at this place, look at that. What's this say? Qu'est-ce que ça dit là? Ooh. The, the North Mount. Yeah, I couldn't see that. Damn it, I'm blind as a bat. They're never going to let me drive, eh? Oh, well, what are you going to do? Could always be worse. And you know how many times, let me tell you something. Let me, let me tell you something, okay? Every time, any time you see somebody in a wheelchair, that should be a reminder automatically to take more value in your life. You know me, I'm bipolar, I'm visually impaired. I got my problems like so many people. But when I see somebody like that, it puts your life in perspective in an appreciative mode. You know what I mean? Simple as that. <sighs> it's a good walk up though. I didn't realize the street was so steep. It's so steep. What am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna... What a failure, eh? Dodge Nitro. Boy, how many years did they make this? Two years, three years? Big failure. I think, I don't know, like I said, I'm gonna take the Metro at uh, Edouard Montpetit and uh, I don't know, just maybe a little metro ride, film a little ride, and then get off at, uh, I don't know, park or something. Je sais pas. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. It's amazing, eh? Apartment after apartment after apartment building. Look how old this place is. Holy shit, man. Look at the front of that. It looks like a police station. Eh? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I always love those rounded windows, you know? 
And now I gotta tie my shoelace again because I don't know why you buy certain shoes and the fucking laces are so long. Why is that? I don't know. I'm gonna give the camera a break and tie them right now. There for you scrap lovers. Yeah. Junk. Nova junk. Nova scrap. Oh! Million dollars for those ones, those hybrids. Million fucking dollars. But at least they got air conditioning. Look at this rock ledge. Rock ledge, and before I was at Rock Cliff, and there's a lot of streets and buildings called Rock something. Yeah. Oh, I also came up here figuring maybe I would see some oldie parked here somewhere. It'd be nice, but not, I haven't seen nothing. I'm gonna zoom in here though. You know the battery's dying. Just looking at this sewer here while I was putting the fresh battery in the camera. All right, it says Ville de Montréal, Egout. Egout is French for sewer. And then it says here, auto adjustable. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? You put the fucking cover on it, it fits itself. What does that mean? Hilarious. Auto adjustable sewer. All right. Oh, boring cars. Okay, that Volvo caught my eye, though I admit it. Uh, that's pretty much all you'll see nowadays on this 51 route is the scrap, unless it's of course uh, a weekday or especially a rush hour, it's a different story, you know. It's a pretty long street though, you know. But where the street lacks big time and interesting, or cool cars for that matter, big time lack. At least it makes up in architecture for yours truly. It loves the old school and I never get enough of it. Never, never, never. And look, let's look at this fucking antique right here for a second here. What's like there? Something, I don't know, some kind of design or... Uh, I don't know, some kind of design there, but... Uh, oh man, all of a sudden it smells like... Uh, that smells amazing. Look at that, eh? Oof, that's risky. Especially in the city. You know? Ah, but you know... And it's something I realized at 43 years of, old, of age in last year is that when you're young, you are foolish indeed. The stupid things you see people do, you reflect on all the stupid fucking things you did yourself. And there's plenty, you know? And there's something about getting older and being more cautious, usually. Of course, some people are really dumb. They don't learn it. They never learn a goddamn thing. Wind up, whoa, what the fuck? Ah, talking about, speaking of noticing weird things, check this out. I have never seen anything like that in my life. What the fuck is this? Like little overpass. What? Oh, that's weird. Between the two buildings. I've never seen that in my life. Fuck, man. Maybe the landlord owns both of them for sure and said, hey, you know what? I'm getting tired of going in and out of the door and always up here and down here. <laughs> I'm going to build, I'm going to have some, I'm going to build a freaking uh, a walkway uh, between the two buildings like you would see downtown or something like that. That's hilarious. See, sometimes you just see that. To me, that's such a significant thing. That's worth uh, walking on the street and filming this video. I never thought I would see something like that. That's just really cool, you know? Among all these beautiful vintage buildings. Look at this one. What's this one called? The other one was called Northwood. This one's called... It's called... It's called Roslyn. Yeah. Roslyn, Roslyn. I think there's a street called that, actually. Yeah. Wee oui, wee. Oui. This one definitely was built, I'd say, in the 50s. Fuck, look at that. It's got the original door. Wow. Original door, man. You can tell. I can tell by the style. You know? You know, having lived in several apartment vintage, uh, various vintages of apartment buildings, I can tell you though that one of the things that's not cool about some of these, like when they're really old, is uh, some a lot of them still have their original windows. I'm thinking, I don't know about this one, I don't think so, uh, but some of the original windows, the original windows, they don't fucking, they're not airtight whatsoever, so they just let in a lot of cold air. It's just not good, you know? Uh, and actually, I even actually, once I lived in a building, uh, I think, come to think of it, it was made in the in the 69. But if I remember correctly, yeah, really weirdly enough, the uh, 
the window in the kitchen, I don't know why, it was... No, I think all the windows were fucking still wood-framed. I mean, man, in 69, can you believe that? I'm like, holy shit, and... Uh, oh, they were for the birds. Then these uh, Russian couple bought the building, you know, and modernized. Got something interesting coming here in terms of vehicles. It's a FFJ. I don't know, it seems I've met a couple of people who don't like these things for some reason. I like them, I mean, you know, I like all big vehicles, you know. This one's got that kind of a look there with the roof rack and the big tires that it's a... Uh... You know, I never really said this before, but if you look at how the, the front end and the, the hood are rounded, you know what it looks like? Honestly? It reminds me of a Stanley steamer. You don't know what a Stanley steamer is? Google it. Google it. Google it. I don't think it's something responding around here. I've never gotten anything responding here. Anyway, uh, you can sort of see over here, this is the Université de Montréal, which does not really translate in English. Actually, technically, it would translate to Univer Montreal University, but that's wrong because it's a French university. And, of course, you can't be in Montreal without construction. I'll show you that quickly. I don't know what the fuck they're doing here. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this right here, man. Look at that Sebring. Midlife crisis car. Ah, 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 ah. And, uh, yeah, there's the metro station. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll just finish that over there, actually, to the metro. Might as well. I'll finish that at the foot. I'm thinking about maybe filming a ride there. Like I said, I don't know. I mean, filmed a few rides on that fucking station last year or so. So, je sais pas. Yeah, Université de Montréal. See, the STM, if you gave a goddamn about, about your customers, you would make comfortable buses. Now, the hybrids, I admit, they have a better suspension, but the seats are still fucking crap. And they don't even have any fabric on them, so now you slide like hell. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Stupid ass company, stupid transit motherfuckers. You'll never learn, man. Never. All right, guys, I think the entrance for the metro is right here. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, little thing, and uh, take care. Bye bye.